Warning, overclocking your CPU and or GPU will void your warranty. Please overclock at your own risk. You may or may not have heard of overclocking when diving into the world of PCs, but overclocking is basically squeezing the extra power and potential out of your PC's hardware. The range of performance boost from overclocking varies, but overclocking is relatively simple and is very beneficial. Unfortunately, you can only overclock your CPU on desktops and on few laptops, while GPUs can be overclocked through included software drivers or other reliable third-party software such as EVGA Precision X and MSI Afterburner. I will be doing a topic about overclocking GPUs in the near future. Your CPU is by far the easiest piece of hardware you can overclock in your computer. Just keep in mind that you should only overclock your CPU and GPU and not your memory unless you know what you're doing. And always, always be careful when you overclock. You do not want your multiplier to be set to 100 while thinking it is at 10 times and you will screw up your CPU. Now for the part you've been waiting for, overclocking. First you want to enter your UEFI BIOS when you first boot up your computer. It is usually F2 or the delete key by default. You want to spam either delete or F2 multiple times. Then you want to enter AI Tweaker if you are on an ASUS motherboard, overclock settings if you are on an MSI motherboard, and the performance tab when on a gigabyte motherboard. In these areas, you will want to choose Sync All Cores, um, which can be done by going here to CPU core ratio. You said to sync all cores, not per core, not auto. And then you can choose your CPU frequency through here. <clears throat> do not, I repeat, do not mess with the multiplier or there will be a possibility that you will screw up your hardware. It will usually set be set to 100 by default. But always check to make sure that your multiplier is set to 100. Basically, the multiplier calculates what frequency you want to overclock the CPU to. If you want your CPU to run at 4.2 gigahertz, you type in 42 in this bar. I have mine running at 4.5 gigahertz. Because you choose you chose the sync all cores option, all cores will run at 4.2 gigahertz if you decide to overclock your CPU to 4.2 gigahertz. I will demonstrate now. Some, unfortunately, sometimes your CPU will be a little too power hungry to run at your desired speed and your computer will start freezing. If this happens to you, you will need to un overvolt. Overvolting is the process in which you add a little more voltage to your CPU, so your CPU will have all the power it needs to overclock. You can overvolt if you go down into this extreme overvolt and I personally like to keep it at offset mode and you keep it at um, pl the plus at zero point zero nine six This will add 0.1 volt to your current voltage. 
and you can choose manual mode, auto mode, adaptive mode, but I choose to use offset mode. I keep it at 0 0.1 volts. 0.01 volts. As this is the safest amount for me, for my CPU right now, as it will keep it at 1.31 volts. You will need to do the math, but as you can see here, this is 1.2 volts because I have changed something recently. Other free monitoring software and stress testing software will allow for you to monitor and um, check if your CPU overclocks are stable. Software such as Prime95 and CPU-Z are very popular, while IDA64 is by far one of the most popular um, software to uh, monitor your CPU usage, temps, and stress test your CPU. But IDA64 costs a lot of money about one hundred dollars a copy for normal copy if you buy higher end copies that can cost you upwards of two hundred dollars and you would l want to uh, test your overclocks uh, on these softwares I, um, both CPU-Z and Prime95 will be in the description below This is CPU-Z, and this is real temp. This monitors your temperatures, and this is for stress testing and also um, monitoring your temperatures. And this is CAM software. It monitors all your stats. This is F MSI Afterburner for overclocking your graphics card. But we will be focusing on CPU-Z and CAM. You will want to go to the bench area and you will want to stress test your CPU for approximately half an hour or more to see if your overclocks are stable. You will want, I personally like to keep my temps below um, 75 degrees Celsius. To, um, you will want to keep your temps below uh, 75 degrees Celsius, but I like to keep mine below 65 degrees Celsius. You also do do not want to overvolt your CPU to over 1.3 1.4 volts if you want it your CPU to last over 3 years. This is my video on overclocking. Please like if you like the video and please leave a dislike if you dislike the video and comment why. And also please subscribe to our channel. Peace out. Thank you for watching.